So one of the questions I get all the time from developers or aspiring developers is how do you maximize your development skill? So if you haven't been watching my videos for a while, this answer will probably surprise you. The number two thing that recruiters look for, for HR departments look for when they're hiring developers is interpersonal skill. Interpersonal skills, soft skills, the ability to communicate well with others. This may surprise you because I know a lot of you are looking for the answer, oh, I should learn Rust or I should learn GitHub or I should learn React or I should learn to use Copilot more effectively or, or I should use this framework or that framework. That's not the case. You see, once you have your fundamentals down as a software developer, then it comes down to A, your ability to learn quickly, B, to be able to communicate effectively, and C, to be consistent in your efforts. And that all comes down to one simple thing, having good control over your brain, specifically good control over your emotional self. That's your primitive brain, by the way, that controls your emotional self. Your primitive brain controls whether or not you're uh, consistent, whether or not you can communicate well with other people, whether or not you can handle anxiety and stress well, this is all down to your lower primitive brain. And so what you should be doing is training that. This is something I've been talking about for a couple years now. So that's why I even put out an entire course on training your lower brain called Lizard Wizard. In psychology, the lower brain, the primitive brain, is often called the lizard brain. Why? Because we share that operating system, that lower brain, with all creatures from lizards all the way up the evolutionary scale. It's pretty profound. The lizard brain has certain rules and certain principles, certain characteristics. And once you understand that, you can use your higher brain to control your lizard brain. So how does this circle back to becoming a better developer or becoming more effective at learning how to code? I've been coaching and mentoring people for years now, and I can tell you the number one problem people have when learning to code or advancing in their career has nothing to do with intellect. In fact, the vast majority of individuals out there have the intellectual capacity to be effective developers or coders, no matter what level you want to get into. There are certain strategies you got to execute on, you got to figure out where your strengths lie, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, we all have, well, most of us, the vast majority of us, have the intellect to become developers. The key difference between those who succeed and don't succeed, and this is what life has taught me, is not intellect. It is actually, in fact, Emotional control, mastery of your lizard brain. So with all of that in mind, I want to introduce you to a device that was sent to me by this company called Wave Rocks out of Miami. Uh, they distribute this device here, and it allows you to more effectively learn to train your lower brain. So what this device does is it provides real-time feedback about what your brain is doing at a particular moment in time. It's pretty cool. So we'll tell you if you're anxious or you're calm, uh, whether you're focused or not. But I'm just waiting for the device to connect to my brain. So here we go. And this is what it looks like on the head now. It's not like I got hair. It's not like I got hair blocking me, right? <laughs> so that's like. There the contacts seem to be there. It says we have three out of four, so I guess that's sufficient. So it says we have next. This is what I like about the device, by the way, is the fact that I can impact the emotional state based on a meditation, and I can feel it in my body. I'm doing, as I said, I've been doing a lot of meditations over the years. So this works. So I'm going to now do some uh, calmness meditation, and we'll see how that affects the green line, which is calmness. That is very cool. That is very cool. 
And what's the importance of all of this? It's kind of like having a aura ring or, I don't know, Apple Watch. It measures your vitals. This measures your brain vitals in real time. And in doing that, it creates a profile about you. So it's, it, start, it will give you feedback about what your brain is doing throughout the day. Because unless you're trained in all this stuff, you're not really aware of it. Most people are not aware of how anxious they are, how stressed they are. Most people aren't. This device is going to train you in that regard, so it's going to start giving you feedback, so it has an app that you install, and it works pretty well. This is an alpha product at the time I'm doing this video, and even though it's alpha, meaning pre-release, it's good. So this is, of course, a paid ad, but I don't do any ads. I don't talk about any products or services unless I know they have some use. At first, I was reluctant with regards to this, because I didn't understand the technology, I didn't understand how this works, but I know what it is trying to achieve. I know that what it is trying to achieve is actually very, very important. And again, I put out a whole course on the whole subject a couple years back. So what this device does for you is that it monitors your brain activity in real time, and it gives you feedback in real time, which is gonna help you train. It's gonna help you train your brain in the lay in ways of the lizard, as I would say. Basically, it's almost like having a uh, meditation coach, a psychic coach, if you will, not psychic powers, but like in real time saying to you, hey, okay, you're feeling a little anxious. Time to take a little break, Steph. You're a little anxious. When you're anxious, you're not as productive. Uh, go do, let's do a little meditation and guide you through meditation. And says, okay, we need to calm you down a little bit. Okay, let's take, a, let's take a minute. Let's do a little mindfulness meditation. And we're going to calm you down. And so he calms you down and it's giving you real-time feedback. It's pretty damn cool. So you want these, two, these four contacts here to touch the back of your, your head. And then it's able to start picking up uh, what's going on up here. So I'll take this off. Put this on. So now I look like John Travolta in that uh, fabulous movie he did in the 1980s. Or I look like Ilya from Star Trek. Despite the fact that I look fabulous, um, it actually is quite comfortable. And it's meant to sit in on your head uh, for a period of time. So it starts getting a profile about what your brain is doing throughout the day. So it's, it gets this profile. It starts giving you real-time feedback. And then it, it will suggest times to, uh, to meditate, to take a break. So it starts monitoring you and it starts training you. In time with the training, you won't need the, the device to coach you, although it will always have some, some sort of functionality as well. So not only do you have a device, but there's real-time tracking, and I don't believe there's any out there in the market that can do that for you, but it also provides with the app a whole bunch of training exercises. The app comes with a bunch of training exercises, which will help you learn to control your primitive brain, which is so, so important. This kind of reminds me of when I was doing martial arts. I did martial arts for nearly 25 years, a lot of hardcore training there. And I, I realized at one point where when you're first starting out, let's say you're learning to throw punches and kicks and so on, you need the coach to guide you to, sh to say, no, 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 you're throwing that wrong. Your balance is off. You're not turning over your hand properly. You're not turning your hip over properly. You need to coach in the early stages of your training because you just don't have the uh, self-awareness. You don't have the ability to, to uh, self-correct. There comes a point in your training, and it happens with software development as well, with coding as well. There comes a point where you become self-aware all of a sudden. It's kind of interesting where it's like, boop, you can start identifying where you are making mistakes. Once you're able to self-identify, self-correct, and all of a sudden your ability to progress increases almost exponentially because you don't need the coach to tell you what to do. This device is going to supercharge, speed up your ability to learn to self-correct vis-a-vis your state of being, your state of mind. I did a lot of meditation in a lot of meditation practices back in the day, partly because of my martial arts practice. And then I took it into other different directions. I know it's weird, but I was in my early teens and mid-teens, late teens. I used to go into meditation, heavy duty meditations where I could go into a meditation for three hours. It was very beneficial to my mind. And um, 
if I had this device at the time where I could learn, where it could teach me about my uh, various mental states in real time, I would have sped up that process quite a bit. There's no question about that. Fortunately for you guys, you now have access to this device. So take it from me. If you learn to master your lower brain, your primitive brain, which this device will help, it's gonna help you a lot in all aspects of your career, whether you're learning to code, professional developer, and you wanna level up your game, in all aspects of life, really. One of the fantasies in, uh, in cinema these days is the superhero fantasy. You know, the superhero falls ass backwards into some superpower, either innate or they get bitten by a spider, or they put on costumes, whatever it is. You can think of mastery of your lower brain as the supercomputer that you have in between your ears. You just haven't learned to leverage it yet. That's the thing. If you want to learn all about that, you can check out my course called Lizard Wizard, which teaches you all about this. People have told me, and I've been teaching people for decades now, they have said that this is the most important training that they've ever done. So if you want to advance your career as a professional developer, as HR departments will tell you, the second most important thing they look at is your interpersonal skills, your ability to communicate, and this all comes down to emotional self-control and awareness, which is lower brain awareness of control, which is lizard brain. This gives you real-time feedback so that you can quickly get to the point where you can self-correct and control your states of being. Imagine if you had the ability to, when you started feeling anxious or nervous, you could do a quick meditation, some quick uh, mental exercises, and put yourself back into a calm, relaxed state. We've all been there, right? We've all been in the zone, the zone of hyper-productivity. But this type of device, this device here will help you get there very quickly. So I highly recommend you check it out. Link will be below to their website. Uh, they may be still in an open or closed beta, but you should sign up and it might be available for sale when you watch this video. Highly recommended. I don't typically recommend uh, products unless they're good. This is a good product.